Hallelujah. I want us to celebrate the Oyedirons. I'm just jealous of seeing their boys. My God, my God. From Timmy to Taye to Coin Day to his banner over us is love. What a, no, seriously speaking, I want to salute and to celebrate these wonderful parents. As for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. As a pastor, I can say it's not always like that. That you see the husband, the wife, and the entire household serving in the house of the Lord. May God increase you guys. May you affect your generations for his praise. You'll be for signs and for wonders. And like Yemi prayed, Exodus 23, 25, when you serve me, I will bless your water. I will bless your bread. In other words, God will bless all our endeavors. For those of us who are still dilly darling, whether to serve God, that just a, for you just answering the call of God is a blessing. Say, when you serve me and you love me, choir, the media, everybody, the protocol, can we just celebrate all the, there is a blessing for you. Whether you ask for it, say, those who serve me and love me, I, God, will bless the water, I will bless their bread, I will take away sicknesses and disease of Egypt. COVID is from Egypt and it's going back to Egypt. I can't hear you. I say COVID is from Egypt and it's going back to Egypt in the name of Jesus. It's just good to serve God. I'm a recipient of serving God. God will always do what he says he will do. So please, let's love the Lord with all of our hearts and serve him. And if God be God, let's serve him. We can't compare nobody. There is no other person to compare with God. Let's just serve God and God will bless us. Again, we thank God for 13 years. A child of 13 is a teenager. It's not a small boy. So, Jesus has unveiled. You become teenagers. And teenagers' word is a different word. They are one syllable. <laughs> if you have teenagers in your life, I say, Daddy, what? Go? Are you okay? Fine. What's happening? Good. <laughs> How about school today? Okay, right. One word to engage them. But we thank God for Jesus' house on the You are moving from glory to glory. 13 years. Can you imagine 13 years of marriage? Those of us who got married in this house. Because at times when we just mentioned 13, we forgot it that there are stories of people. There are miracles of people. Children born 13 years ago. Careers of 13 years. Business of 13 years. And the ministry of Jesus as Onville in this community, in this city of Onsville. To God be the glory. To God be. And the, the truth is, the best is yet to come. These are just little, little trinkles. But we are entering into a new realm. Because new, on eagle's wings, it's about destiny. It's about a destination. God took them from slavery to promised land. God is taking this church to his promised land. Eagle's wing is about intimacy. We are entering to another level of intimacy with God. Because when he called them, he saved them to himself. God is taking us to another level of intimacy with him. On eagle's wing is about promotion and elevation. Because these people were all their lives, they are slaves. All of a sudden, they, beca they become they became owners of land. They began to own real estate. Men and women, as you are moving into another level of elevation, you possess the land for the glory of God. I don't know how you are doing, but God is saying to you tonight, he's taking you to another level. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40. Isaiah chapter 40. I 
Isaiah chapter 40. That's a prophecy to you. You read verses 1 to 2. And we'll pray 29 to 31. He said, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. God is addressing one or two people, families here tonight. I don't know what you are going to. God is saying, I bring comfort to you. I bring healing to you. I bring deliverance to you. Comfort me, I bring help to you. I bring assistance to you. I bring what you need in this hour. Verse 2 says, please speak tenderly to the heart of Jerusalem and cry to her that our time of service and our warfare are ended. Your warfare is what? Is ended. Your ego swing is you are entering into your victorious season. You have fought enough battles. The Bible says your warfare is what? They are ended. Say, yes, I've received the punishment for your sin and everything. They are pardoned. And you are getting double for your trouble. This is a season of what new wings is all about. And let's move to verse 29. And we'll just use that one to pray. Say, he gives power to the faint and to the weary. And to him who has no might, he increases strength. Causing it to multiply and making it to abound. Yes, you want to fly. You want to soar. You want to mount up. But if there is no strength. Say, daughters of Zion have come to Babel. There is no strength to deliver. But by the grace of God, God will renew our strength. That we'll be able to deliver and be able to fly and to soar in the name of. So we want to pray. I know we it's been a, 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 we've spent some quality time here, but if you don't mind, wherever you are, it doesn't have. You don't have to stand, but wherever you are, let's just make sure we concentrate. We want to pray, God, the strength for me to soar, to be on eagles' way. Lord, release unto me, because He's the one that gives strength to the weak, and it's not impossible. From January to November. B we begin to get wearied and tired because we are not seeing those things. So tonight you want to pray, Lord, uh, strengthen me, O oh God. Renew me, O oh God. Lord, give me strength in my inner man. Lift up your voice and pray. Are you fellowship with us online? You can join us and pray and ask God. Give me strength. He gives power to the fainter. Uh. Yes, you are fainting. It's natural to faint. Uh. It's natural to be tired. But those who wait upon the Lord, uh, he does what? He renews new their strength. He gives strength to the weary. Are you weary tonight? Yes, it's natural. Challenges of life, what you have gone through this year, is causing you to weary. It's causing you to faint. But the Bible says tonight he will give strength. He will give power. He will give energy. He will give you the, everything you need uh, that you'll be enthusiastic again about life. Can somebody lift up your voice and pray? Lift up your voice and pray. It will multiply strength in you now, tonight. Uh. It will give you power. Oh, Santa Verse 30 says, even youths are strong with their biceps. They still get tired. Even young men, they get what? Well, they stumble and they fall exhausted. But those who wait, the truth is you and I have been waiting. And the God you are waiting for will not disappoint you. I said this God that you have been waiting is never known to disappoint. I said, your expectations shall not be cut short. This God will do what? He will renew yourself. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope to him, shall change and renew their strength. Lord, renew our strength tonight, O oh God. And power that they, we will lift up with our wings and mount up close to God as eagles. Mount up to the sun. We shall run, we will not be weary, O oh God. We shall walk and we will not be tired. Can you lift up your voice and just pray? Standing upon this scripture, don't forget how he started. 
He has brought strength. He has brought help. He has brought assistance. He has come to comfort you. And that your war, your warfare is ended. And it's now here to give you double for your trouble. He said, are you tired in running? He said, I will renew your strength. And because you have been waiting upon him, he will give you strength to run. La shakata bla la 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 ba. Li ke 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 te ke te le bokoto. Oh Santa kabara la 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 ba. Li ke bro lo bokoto bokoto. Ni ke 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 te ke te le bokoto. Oh sakata bra la ba ba. Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise on the order of your word, O God. Let your scripture be fulfilled in your house. Let everyone have a testimony of comfort, of your assistance of your help and double for our trouble. Lord, that in this season, O oh God, our strengths are renewed, O God. We receive your power to soar, O oh God, and to fly, O oh God, and to possess our possessions. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout, hallelujah. Shall we be seated in his wonderful presence? Exodus chapter 19, our main text for this eagle's wings. And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him out of the mountain, Say, say this to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, how I bore you on eagle's wings, and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice in truth and keep my covenant, then you shall be my own peculiar possession and treasure from among and above all peoples from all the earth, for all the earth is mine. And verse 6, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation, consecrated, set apart to the worship of God. These are the words you shall speak to the Israelites. What a word. What a prophecy over this house. Say, go and tell them in Jesus' house, Onsville, the way I dealt with Egypt, how I carried you on eagle's wings. And for one only reason, and one reason only, for myself. My brothers and my sisters, we are living in an unprecedented times where things have changed dramatically, particularly in the last 20, 21 months, all over the world. We live in what we call the new normal. We have pandemic has changed the face of things, the way the ways of our lives have changed dramatically. And attitude also have changed. There are people who prefer to sit at home and not to go to work. And when there, and there is work to be done. And it's not their fault. The emotional, the mental state of men and women all over the world there's a new name or a new phrase we're hearing, supply chain, supply chain. Supply chain because of COVID. Company shut down for about almost a year or more than a year. So there were no production. So it's not only in America that <laughs> supply chain is the topic now. It's all over the world. And the church also is not exempt. Who will ever tell you and I that the time will come that the church will be shut? But thank God the building can be shut, but the Holy Spirit cannot be shut out. Thank God for technology. But who will ever say that the time will come that, that the very elect also will be hesitant to come back to church? It's not peculiar to Jesus' house Homesville. It's not particular to Alabama. It's all over the world. The problem is international. That's the world we're living in. 
people are excited about so many things. Even we are the science that used to be authentic, we are doubting science now. Very soon, maybe one plus one may not be two again. Particularly around this area, where you are anti-vaccine, anti-science, God will have mercy. But that's the world we live in. I'm not casting a passion on Alabama or anywhere. It's all over the world. Things have just changed, and it's because of what COVID, which is from the deep, from the pit of hell, that we'll be begging people to come back to church. Even haven't gotten your you are fully vaccinated. Even some of us have gotten boosters, but you are still are not comfortable to come. Where will you be comfortable? It's my comfort level, Pastor. And you can't argue with them. They feel what they feel. And you can't say it is wrong. Even when corporations cannot force their employees to employers employees to come. How much more church that is voluntary? Where we don't have anything to give about apart from faith. The just shall live by their faith. What am I saying? This season, this time, this new normal is calling for the church to be the church. And let the world be the world. So we need the church to be eager believers. Who will be able to fly and soar above the normal. We have to rise above the normal and pursue our assignment with dexterity of the ego. God didn't just pick any animal. He didn't pick lion. As powerful as lion is. He didn't pick the sheep as gentle and tender it is. But he picked an ego to compare himself to an ego. It's because of what is in, in an ego. Everyone is calling the church tonight and all over the world to be like ego believers. To be able to move into the realms of the supernatural so that we can fulfill our potentials. And congratulations to you in Jesus House Huntsville. You are ready for your ego's wings. We knew new perspective to dealing with situations, circumstances, around us but we'll break down what are the things let's go back to the scripture i brought those things in just to tell us why we need this topic this is the life of the supernatural we can't continue to live the normal way we are living we need to be on eagle's wings to live victoriously above the challenges of our season of our time three things god did in egypt the mighty miracles. How he dealt with Pharaoh. The plagues that cowered them down and bring them to subjection and to submission. When you read Exodus 7 to 11. Number two, what did he do in Egypt? He protected Israel. They were living in a place called Goshen. That's what God is reserving for us in, on eagle's wings. That no matter what is going on around the world, we've been in Goshen. It's a spiritual state. Don't look for a city called Goshen. In the atmosphere of the presence of God around you, around your family, around where you work, because you're a believer, you'll be able to bring Goshen into that environment. That's what Eagle Swing is all about. And he brought them to himself. What else did God do? Reminding Moses to go and tell the children. What did he do in Israel? He granted them uncommon favor. Was bestowed. So, Eagle's Wing is about entering to another level of uncommon favor. He told them to go and borrow their jewelries. Take their gold. Take their silver. Because the enemies you see today, you will see them no more tomorrow. That's the word of the Lord, that the enemies of COVID and all is caught. By the grace of God, we'll see them no more. Amen. And Lord, Bible says in Exodus 12, 36, and he gave the people of Israel favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they granted them what they request. 
Thus they plundered. You will plunder the enemies. You will plunder the world. And we, you, you use that thing for the glory of God in the name of Jesus. What else did God do for the Israelites? The miraculous crossing over the Red Sea. He delivered them from the chariots of Pharaoh. And the death and devastation came to Pharaoh and Egypt. And how did he do it? The Bible says he did it by bearing them. He bore them on eagle's wing. Eagle's wing. It's not, it's a figurative word. Because, yes, eagles are so precious, so intentional, so caring, so tender about their eaglets. But it's something that you and I also can learn. That's how God carries his children. He delivered Israel from slavery to freedom. From Egypt to the promised land. And there's a promised land for you and I in this season. And the way we will get there is on eagle's wings. The way we get there is the way of the supernatural. And let's be careful to our attribute or give credit to Israelites. They didn't have nothing to do with it. It wasn't because of their faith. It wasn't because of their exploits. It's not because of their power. In fact, they didn't have any. Don't forget, they were slaves. Even the course of the journey, they told Moses, are there no graves in Egypt? Can you take us back to Egypt? They didn't have faith. So, we qualify. We, a, we have a better covenant than the children of Israel. Even they were telling Moses one day, we used to eat garlic, we used to eat fish. Can you imagine this? They still want to go back. That's the mindset, the mentality. But our own mindset is going to change. Our perspective is going to change. Because on ego's wing is basically on God's terms. On God's terms. Ego's wing is about God and God alone. If it had not been for the Lord on your side, these 13 years will not be. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Pastor Amy was talking about how many churches have died in the last 20 months. How many churches have closed down? How many churches are doing the kind of program that we are doing? It's because the Lord is on our side. So in the, on this journey of this ego swing that we are talking about, it's going to be by God and by God alone. When you look at Psalm 91, he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. My brothers, my sisters, I said this during the communion. This time that we're living in is not a time you want to depend on your intellect. It's not the time to depend on your on your power. It's not going to be by power, nor by my mind, but by my spirit only says the Lord. It's not going to depend on your wisdom. Every one of us will get to our wit end and discover that where is the way? It will be. He said, I called, I did all this. I bought them on eagles. And why? Because I want Israel. And now he's talking to us, the church. We are the spiritual Israel. How did he bear us? By himself, he went to the cross. He who know no sin became sin for you and I. We had nothing to do with our salvation. Jesus paid all. He paid it all. All we are doing is just to say, yes, Lord, save my soul. I'm a sinner. And we have a better covenant. So you and I, God save us also for himself and not for ourselves. That our lives are not our lives, so to speak. Our lives belong to God. 
So the eagle's wings are also God's wings. The feather, he hides us under the pavilion, under his, under his shadow. It's called the shadow of grace and mercy. It's a place of refuge where the devil cannot touch you, where COVID cannot touch you, where no pestilence can touch you or your family or touch the total. It's a place of refuge. Psalm 91, when you read all through, it's a place where strength is renewed. For eagle's wings, we need strength. We need power to be able to fly and to soar. It's a place of confidence. And it's a place also of rescue and protection. Eagle's wings is a place where the healing Divine health of God is available for those who will run to him. Who will not run away from him. This is not the time to run away from church. Brethren, we need ourselves. Even God is not a one-man God. He's trinity in one. God the Father, God the Son, God the God Holy Spirit. How come you are running the race by yourself? God didn't make you a low ranger. You made yourself. But for the, the realm of the eagle's wing, we need ourselves. We need the fellowship of the brethren. We need the encouragement of the brethren. And God is our comforter, our encourager in chief. In eagle's wing, on eagle's wing is a place of honor. And promotion. Let's look at Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Pastor warned me just 30 minutes. I don't know how far I've come. Because I must be subject to the authority of the house, irrespective of your position. So, AC or no AC, whatever the pastor in charge says. Let's just back up to verse 9 because of our time. Don't forget the reason why he bore them on eagle's wing. He made it clear. And he also gave them two conditions. Say, tell them what I did to them in Egypt. How I delivered them, bore them on my eagle's wing. I did this because I want Israel for myself. And he said to us in the New Testament, the church, that I saved you not for anything else, but so that you and I can do all, can worship and make God our all in all, and nobody is competing with God in our lives. But the challenge is we have competitors with God. Even the things God has granted us, they are competing with God. At times when you ask people, why are we not seeing you? Oh, it's, the, it's my family. Are we blaming God for the family he gave us? Or it's my job. Are we blaming God for giving us? He knows we have need of these things, according to Matthew 8, 6. But he still wants us to make him number one. Number one. Say, so I saved Israel just for myself. And if you want to enjoy the blessings of eagle's wings, two things you will do. You have to obey my voice. Go back to that theme, Exodus chapter 19. And number two, you have to keep my covenant. Then all the blessings will flow to you. And Psalm 91 now open it up better for us. Verse 9 says, because you have made the Lord your God, your refuge, and the most high your dwelling place. There shall no evil before you. Nor any plague or calamity come near you. We should not be careless, presumptuous, but we should not be afraid of COVID. Why? Because of your God. You will do what you can do and leave the rest. And don't live fear, don't live in fear. Fear is the opposite of what? Of faith. It's against trust. 
whatever we have to do, let's get vaccinated. Uh, I was telling them in church that if Jesus will be around today, can I tell you, he will take the vaccines. You know why I say so? He will say, let us fulfill all righteousness. He didn't have to be, he, he didn't have to be baptized, but say, hey, for the sake of the, let me lead the example, let me show. So there's nothing demonic about vaccine, church of God. We pray for solution for almost 10, 11 months. We are crying, God intervene, roll away the reproach. And God gave us four vaccines, particularly in this country, within a record time. And the church is now vaccinating, debating. We are politicized what ought not to be politicized. Science is not against God. He, he confirms God. He confirms the fine thing. Because there is a place for science. Doctor, Doctor Luke was a medical doctor. He wrote, he gave us a good two books. The book of Acts and the book of, he was a doctor. He was a member of Jesus' inner circle. So please, let's come back. Because the way you are looking at me, you are behaving like typical Alabamian. But I'm going back to where we believe science. Hallelujah. Number 10. Say, verse 10. There shall no evil before you nor any place. Number 10, verse 10. Say, For he will give you his angels special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. Bringing us back to the two conditions. For us to qualify to be. Eagles, Eagles wing, everybody wants to be there. I wish horses are just, anybody can ride it. But anybody can ride it. It needs training. It needs you to be able to handle and rent all the horses in place. So the same thing. Yes, God wants to place us. But are we ready for obedience? And for service. Number 12, they shall bear you up on their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and other, the young lion and the serpent shall you trample under for, because you have set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. Can somebody say amen? amen. When we make God, which is the condition for, that's what I just want to emphasize tonight. It is God that will take us on this ego's wings. And we have to find ourselves back to God himself. Individually and collectively. That we make God, God. It's when we come to him and we believe him, we trust him, and we don't behave like our senior brothers or the Israelites. Because it's like history is repeating itself. God deliver us, save us from, from the pit on our way to hell. He rescued us. He saved our lives that we may serve him. But how are we serving God? And when you go further, and because you have set his love, when you set your love upon him, therefore God will do seven things. On, on eagle's wings. He will deliver you. He will set you on eye because he knows and understands because you all know his name and you understand. You have a personal knowledge of my mercy, love and kindness, trust and then I will not forsake you. No, never. You shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him I will honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him what? My salvation. My salvation is more than getting born again. It has to do with your peace. It has to do with prosperity. It has to do with your health. It has to be with your family well-being. When we come back to the Lord. So the eagle's wings is calling you and I back. To God. He wants to restore the joy 
of our salvation. But are we ready to meet the conditions? Obeying his voice. If you're willing, Isaiah 1 19, and obedient, you shall eat the fruit, the best, the goodies of the land. But if you are unwilling, verse 20, we hardly read verse 20. And I want us to read it. Can you read it together? Can we read it together? But if you refuse and rebel, you'll be what? You'll be devoured by the sword for the mouth of the Lord has what on? It's not anybody saying it. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. So tonight, as I wind down, I will continue on Sunday or tomorrow on Eagle's Wing how to be an eagle believer. But tonight, we laid the foundation. We have shared the word. What I did in Egypt. Why I did it in Egypt. How I did it. How I dealt with the enemy. And the same thing God is doing in our lives today. Do you know the battles God fight every day, known and unknown to us? While we're sleeping, while we're driving the same road, that you have driven to this place, you get back to home and you are checking something had happened. Fatal accident. The same water, the same food that you and I are eating. Some people eat and they eat it the other way. The mercy of God. God continues to deliver and to heal and to bless us. But what God is saying, where will my children come back to me? You, I, I call you on John chapter 15. I anointed you, I chose you, I qualify you to be my ambassadors. Where are my children? If you will obey God and keep his covenant, then we'll continue to be a peculiar. Three blessings also are attached to that thing. Then they will be my peculiar treasure, kingdom of priests, and a holy nation. And that translation comes in the New Testament in First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchase, special people that you may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and the perfections of him who call you out of darkness for into his marvelous light. God wants to ensure all these blessings, but every blessing, every promise of God is standing on the condition to be fulfilled. And tonight, the ball is in our court. If only they will obey my voice. Equal swings is my, it's my call. I did it, and I'm still doing it, and I will continue to do it. But my children will experience, will enjoy this perpetually. If they will obey me, obey my voice, and keep my covenant. When you read Leviticus chapter 26, verse 3, if you will obey the voice and add, and let's look at it so that I'm not quoting it wrongly. Leviticus chapter 26. Verse 3, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandment and do them, I will give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield an increase and the trees of the field yield a fruit. And, your, and you go on, and it will give peace in the land. Five of you shall have a whole lot of blessings, which are the blessings of eagle's wings. So tonight, as I bring to this to a close, is that, are we ready to come back to the Lord? Are we ready to obey his commandment and to do his bidding, to do his word, to keep his covenant that the blessings of God will be our portion? And for us to assess this, there are also conditions. 
those who don't know him, is meant for his children. Salvation qualify us into being partaker of eagle's wing. And those of us who have already been saved, how obedient are we? How is our intimacy? Because he called us to himself. So tonight, why all this about eyes closed? If you are here this evening, you don't know him as your savior. You don't know him as your Lord. You don't know him as your God. That's an opportunity for you too. It's called a process of A, B, C. Acknowledge that you are a sinner. Believe in what he did on the cross of Calvary. And you confess your sin. And he has promised whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's for one category of people. Another category could be backsliders. Tonight, God brought you. He sat you where you are fellowship with us online this morning, this, this, this time so that he can connect with you again. You can come back to the house. And the last category is for those who are not sure of their salvation. They are not sure whether you are saved. Why don't you make sure tonight? Nobody knows tomorrow. We only know this moment. And for the next few minutes, it's only God, the future builder. But tonight, because of what he said, what he has promised, this house, and God has brought you to connect with Jesus' house on on their 13th year anniversary, we are here tonight to celebrate what God has done for us. How he has carried us. And he wants to continue to carry us. But he's asking, I start with my children because I call them to myself that they may serve me. So you just want to accept him first, then begin to love him, begin to serve him. Then you continue to experience the blessings of the eagle's wing. And for those three categories of people, we can just, I can just lead you in a short prayer, acknowledge that you are a sinner, you believe Jesus died for your sins, and you confess your sin. Father, I come to you tonight as a sinner. And I don't want to continue to live like this. I believe you died for my sins. Shed your blood for the forgiveness of my sins. Tonight, I confess my sins. I repent. Say, Father, please forgive me by this precious blood. Save my life. And for those who want to make sure, rededicate your life. Backslider, come back to him and confess your sins again. And he will save us as he has promised. And if you say that prayer, you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are born again. You are a candidate of eagle's wings. And the blessings of that, of the eagle's wing will be your portion perpetually as you continue to love God, as you continue to serve him. And for those of us in the house, I believe that we also need to rededicate ourselves to the calling of God upon our lives. Matthew 4, 19 says, He called the disciples that they may be with them and he may teach them how to be fishers of people. Tonight, God is calling you and I back to himself. Particularly in these unusual times, the key to living above these unusual times is to be on his eagle's wings. But God is asking, where is our intimacy? Are we dwelling in his presence? Are we dwelling in his word tonight? Wherever we are, let's just buy us and pray tonight. Lord, I'm coming again. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to my first love. Other things have taken my attention away. The challenges of the moment, the uncertainty of the moment, the problems of the moment. But Lord, tonight, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The one that will cause me to mount up. Can we lift up your voice and pray tonight? That's our prayer tonight. That's our prayer tonight as we round up this evening. 
Can you lift up your voice and just pray? Lord, I'm coming back to you tonight. Lord, renew my strength for intimacy because I'm called to you, God, and to you alone. And through you, I'll be able to do other things and making you the number one, the priority. Lift up your voice and pray. Holy Spirit, I need your help to be intimate again, no God. You are the resident God on earth. Help me to connect with the Father. Help me to connect with the Lord tonight, O God. La ba ya la 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 ba. Si ke 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 te le de bogoto. Robo robo koto robo koto koto. Li bra ba 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 ka ya la 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 ba. Li ke 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 te le de bogoto. Oh sa ka ta ba ba la 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 ba. Li ke 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 te ke te le de bogoto. Oh that you will come use me again for your glory, O God. That I will show forth your light, O God. Marvelous light of God. La ba 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 to the to the to the world around me, Almighty God. La ba 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 ba. That they will see me mounting, oh God. Up, oh God, swearing, Almighty God. Love flying high, Almighty God, because I'm back in your corner. I'm back, oh God, in your presence, oh God. Father, this is our prayer tonight. For those online, for those of us who are here, Father, please hear our prayers, oh God. Holy Spirit, we you totally to you. You are our helper. Please teach us the way back to the Father. Lord, hold our hands, O God, back to the Lord, O God, our Savior and our Redeemer. Holy Spirit, please help us, O God, that we indeed, O God, will be a peculiar people, a holy nation, O God, a treasured people whom you have redeemed and called. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We give you praise that Eagle's Wing is our portion, O oh God. A place of destiny because we know your thoughts towards us, O oh God. The thoughts of good and not of evil. To take us and to give us our expected end. Lord, surely, surely, O oh God, this, our expectations will not be cut short. You will fulfill that, O oh God. And in this season of our 13th anniversary, O oh mighty God, Testimonies will abound. Lord, stories will change, oh God. Power will change and, oh God, to walk in the, in the realm of the supernatural. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you for our pastor. Thank you for the first lady. Thank you for the family. Thank you for the ministers. Thank you for the workers. Thank you for the church. That Lord will be testimonies, oh God, of your ego swing, oh God. Jesus has unveil will be a blessing to this community and to the world. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody say, Thank you very much for watching that very wonderful video. I hope and I know that your life has been transformed by the sermon or the ministration you just watched right now. I want you to do one thing for me if you've not done it already. I want you to subscribe to this YouTube platform. I want you to click on, click on notification bell so that you can get updates on when we post um, our videos. I want you to also share this video with your friends and family if you feel that someone needs it. I want you to share it to them so that you can also inspire them. I want you to also give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. If you done all these things thank you very much for doing them and if you've not done them please do it right now god bless you